Peart, one of the most highly influential drummers of all time, with a list a mile wide of other drummers that consider him one of the best in the world. Neil began drum lessons at age 13. At 18, he moved to London, England and spent some time in the music scene there. Returning to Canada in 1972, Neil began working at his father's farm equipment dealership, playing part-time in local bands. In July 1974, he auditioned for an unknown Toronto band and joined Rush on the eve of their first American release and tour. And the rest is history. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Devin Owens here with Garrett Music Academy doing our weekly vlog. And if you haven't noticed already, we're talking about Neil Peart, um, famously known as the drummer of Rush, who, by the way, has done 20 studio albums, okay? Uh, one of which, actually, he wasn't on. He wasn't on the very first one. But uh, he did 19 studio albums with him, uh, did live 11 albums with Rush, and Neil Peart himself has published six books, okay? So he's done a lot of stuff in his life. He's actually also an avid uh, motorcyclist, and he has traveled like tens of thousands of miles all around the world, like in, in a bunch of different places on his motorcycle. So he's really just kind of a heck of a guy. And unfortunately, as a lot of you already know, uh, just about a week ago, and as of recording this video, unfortunately, he passed away. I remember when I first started playing drums, uh, my dad recorded one of Rush's live performances. They had like a, a DVD or a VHS or something like that, and he was able to get a copy of that for me. And I watched it when I had only been playing drums for maybe like a year or something like that. And I just remember it was like a two hour show and I was just, you know, sitting there barely moving the entire time, just eyes fixated on the television, watching and listening to everything. And I was absolutely blown away by everything he was doing. I, I just remember he was such a showman. Like at this show, there were several times where he was like in the middle of a drum solo, threw his stick like, you know, 20, 30 feet in the air and caught it, went right back into his drum solo. And I was just like, oh, wow, you know? And at, at that time, I just thought like, this guy is the greatest drummer that has ever lived. Like, you know, <laughs> I just thought it was amazing. And uh, that actually got me into Rush too, because I had never really listened to Rush before. And I just got into that band in general and I absolutely love their music. I also around the same time kind of made it like my big goal to learn Tom Sawyer all the way through, to be able to play that all the way through on the drums. And I, it took me a long time to get it down and actually it was kind of like learning it on and off for, gosh, probably about like 10 years or more. And finally just, you know, sat down one day, I got the sheet music for it and was able to learn the entire thing all the way through and it was really cool, it was really fun. But um yeah, yeah, and it was it was challenging too because there was just a lot of intricate parts and I wanted to learn it as closely as I possibly could to the original because when Neil Peart plays it live, you know, he, he, he played it the exact same way that he recorded it in the studio and I just thought that that was absolutely amazing that the guy doesn't really change much. He kind of keeps it exactly how he did it in the studio and that's that's the kind of drummer that he was. I think like he he really composed these drum parts and you know consider them to be like okay this is a part of the song and i can't i can't change it because you know this is how we did it in the studio and i just thought that that was really cool so of course i was really bummed out to hear that he had passed away and that's why i wanted to do this video and talk about kind of what you know he meant to me as a drummer and how influential he was on me i mean i had never really listened to a whole lot of more progressive music before hearing rush and and hearing neil pert play you know, and I had never really thought that a lot of the things that he was doing on the drums were, were possible until I watched that video of him playing and just seeing him do all this really, really cool stuff. So yeah, I don't really think that as far as how I play drums and what I've practiced, what I've played on the drums would really be the same if it wasn't for a lot of the things that he did, um, you know, over the course of his really long decorated career for sure. So anyway, rock out to some Rush this week, listen to some of their music, and uh, I will catch up with you all in the next one. Until then, keep playing. I'll see you then.